Do we really understand the groups of people we want to help? What are they doing, thinking and feeling? If our work is really going to have an impact, we need to understand what's important to our target groups and what motivates them. A good way to do this is to empathize with their point of view. This can be done by creating a typical profile of a person based on their motivations and intentions. This will help to identify new insights, new opportunities and better ideas that will be beneficial. We call this a persona. It's a simple way to isolate common characteristics and traits to bring this character to life. Doing this right can be really useful in explaining who we're trying to reach with our work and to find and test potential ideas from the perspective of our target group. Ben is a Ugandan entrepreneur with a dream to be the first African to collect, roast, market and sell quality coffee direct to supermarkets in Britain. He wants to start a fair trade coffee company that would unite local farmers and empower them to transform their communities. Ben's intentions have the farmers at heart, but he's unsure how to build his business around their individual needs. He is aware of the differences in character and situation of every farmer he wants to approach, but he can't imagine a solution that would meet all their needs. Together with a group of friends, Ben decides to give the Personas tool a go. The tool prompts them to imagine themselves as a coffee farmer. Ben gives his new fictional identity a name, Charles, and specifies his job. He then imagines how Charles might look and draws a picture to bring him to life. Ben describes Charles according to what he's already learned about the farmers. He lists examples of what Charles does in his free time, what kind of person he is, what he can do, what his dreams are, and the people he engages with day to day. Finally, Ben lists three reasons why Charles would engage with the coffee company initiative as a farmer and three reasons why he would say no to the idea. Ben then uses the persona to test and validate the assumptions he's made about his target group and experiments with different scenarios and business structures according to how they fit in with the profile he created. He is much more confident and feels less overwhelmed by the idea of meeting people's needs. Personas are a useful tool to empathize with the people you want to help. They can guide you through the process of matching your idea to the needs of a specific group. You can even create a whole set of personas if different groups are likely to respond in different ways. For instance, Ben might also want to do a persona for the likely buyers of his coffee. So if you're feeling unsure about reaching the right people in the right way, why not have a go at creating your own personas?